So in this video we'll be showing you the Windows 10 technical preview. Part 1, this is this video, we'll be showing you the new install to Windows 10 and in the second part we'll be showing you the actual review of the operating system. So if you're looking for the review, click the button on screen now to go to the next video. So as of about one hour ago, the Windows 10 technical preview has been released. You can download this by going to preview.windows.com or by clicking the button on screen now. On that page you can then click on the get started button. So what you have to do is you have to join the Insider program and this allows you to send feedback to Microsoft about the operating system. And since this operating system isn't the full release yet, it's not recommended to use it on a production machine. So as you can see I'm using a virtual machine just to run Windows 10 and this is the safest way to run a technical preview release of Windows just so that you don't have to uninstall your own operating system and reinstall it again afterwards. But if you do decide to install it on a physical machine then you can go ahead and do so. So we've put in the CD into our DVD drive so we can install Windows 10 and this technical preview we can actually boot off the CD and install as a full operating system. So to do that you can either go into the BIOS or go to the Quick Boot Utilities. So in this video I've gone straight to the BIOS and you can usually go to that by clicking F2 or Delete when your system starts. So to tell the computer to start off the DVD we're going to go to the boot section and we're going to set the CD-ROM drive right to the highest level. That can be done by pressing F6, F7 or plus and minus on your keyboard. And then we're going to go to Exit and Exit Saving Changes. Then your computer will restart and you'll get the new Windows 10 installer. So as you can see so far the installer looks like pretty much the same as Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 but hopefully when it starts we should see some differences. So as you can see it's now branded as just Windows. So in here we're going to select our nationality, for me it's United Kingdom. So we're going to click on next and then we're going to click install now. As you can see previously it said evaluation copy in the bottom corner. That's obviously because this is a technical preview which is free of charge and designed to help Microsoft improve their products. So as you can see it does say it is a pre-release operating system. So again it's going to install and it's not supposed to be used for a production machine. So I'm going to hit accept license terms and then I'm going to click next. You have two options here, you can either upgrade or custom. It's recommended at the minute to go to custom and install a fresh copy of Windows 10 on your machine. So we're going to click on next uh, since we have an empty hard disk. If you had petitions here obviously you delete them. So in the unallocated space we're going to click next and Windows 10 will actually install. So the installer will take around 15 to 20 minutes and this is dependent on your DVD drive and the speed of your machine. So I'm just going to speed up this video so that we can get the install over and done with. Okay then, so for now we're going to click on Use Express Settings and it'll check for the internet connection because it's going to ask us to sign in with our Microsoft account. So as you can see it's saying uh, login. So I'm going to log in with my Microsoft account. So I'm going to click on Next to sign in. And I'm going to allow it to send me the code to verify my account. So after logging in with my Microsoft account, we can then go to the next button and this will return us to the installer. So as you can see it's noticed that we've previously set up another PC. So on my account we have this PC called Test PC and that was set up in a previous tutorial and it's asking us if we want to actually set up th this PC as that PC. So for instance if you were transferring data or wanted to create like a replica PC you could select this option 
but since this machine I'm setting up for this tutorial I'm going to set this machine up as a new PC and I'm not going to sync my start screen layout with the cloud so as you can see it says OneDrive is now your cloud storage so if we ever need to back up to the cloud or save anything we can then place it on OneDrive obviously you can disable OneDrive if you want by clicking this button here but we're going to go for next for now So now we're booted into the Windows Technical Preview. As you can see, it's build 9841, and obviously it's an evaluation copy since it is a uh, free copy. So if we click on the Start button, and here we have a much tidier version of the 8.1 and Windows 7 combined Start menu. So here we have uh, Documents, Pictures, PC Settings, Calculator, tools like that. Here we have the Metro apps, so through here we can then launch the Metro apps that were sort of present in Windows 8. Uh, again the All apps uh, appears here. And we're also given a link to the Welcome to Tech Preview uh, browser, and in here we can submit feedback to what we think to the Windows 10 Technical Preview. Thanks for watching this video, please like, rate, comment and subscribe, and remember to check out the next video by clicking the button on the screen now and that is the Windows 10 technical preview review.